number one great wall chef is back. I can't say that on YouTube, can I? <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Uh, so we're gonna make chicken fried rice today and Chinese restaurants are certainly not known for having healthy food, but if you go higher quality organic, switch some of the ingredients around, you actually have something that is both delicious and healthy. So let's take a look at those ingredients and where we can make improvements. Of course, Chinese takeout is known for being incredibly quick, but that also translates to their cooking style. It doesn't usually require a long period of time to make the meal. However, there is quite a bit of prep involved. And the one thing you can't do on the spot is make the rice. This has been chilling in the fridge a couple of hours. You have to make it in advance, cool it off so that when you actually put it in the pan, it crisps up and becomes fried rice. By adding chicken to this, we're making chicken fried rice. All of the other ingredients just make this a basic fried rice. So we have you know, our egg that we're gonna scramble. Not the best quality, but you know, I haven't been eating eggs lately, going to a local farm where you can get corn and soy free eggs. The butter we're using as opposed to oil, which is typical in Chinese restaurants, is just Finlandia grass-fed butter. It's a higher quality. It is pasteurized, but it's affordable. And we're also gonna do a brown butter, you know, we're going to caramelize this instead of the toasted sesame oil. And yeah, you could get like an organic coconut oil, then maybe an organic toasted sesame oil, and it's not the end of the world, but this is so much healthier, and I think it even tastes better. For the seasoning end, instead of the soy sauce, we're using coconut aminos, much, much healthier alternative. And the vegetable mix is kind of what you want, but there are some typical vegetables that you always see in a fried rice. You know, you have some onion carrot, spring onion, garlic. I'm using mushrooms instead of green peas. I don't really wanna buy a bag of organic frozen green peas just for this recipe. And the chicken we have is from Frankie's Free Range Meat. I kinda wish I brought home the quail instead. It's more flavor. I think it adds more to most dishes, but if you do like plain chicken, we do have a good alternative on Frankie's Free Range Meat. So I'm gonna get all this stuff prepped and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. For the brown butter, you're simply gonna melt butter in a saucepan on a medium heat and you're gonna hear a lot of bubbling, a lot of boiling. That's the water in the butter evaporating. And very quickly after it evaporates, this is gonna happen. The butter is gonna foam up and you're gonna see all of this brown, which is you know, the casein proteins caramelizing at the bottom. So that's basically our brown butter. And this is finished, but you, know, you could try to baby it on the heat a little bit more to get some more caramelization. So you can see the brown butter on the right is very dark, very caramelized and then the remaining caramelized milk proteins on the bottom of the pan. So our chicken is just going to get sauteed in some butter and salt. So we just wanna cook it through and then we'll set it aside. Now for our eggs, we're just gonna scramble two up with a little bit of salt and some butter. So everything is nicely prepped. On the left here, we have all of the components that need to be sauteed first. So the mushrooms, the onions, the carrots. We smashed up the garlic that we're just gonna take out. And then we're gonna put in the rice coconut aminos, some more butter, get the rice nice and crispy. And this plate on the right here is everything to finish it with. So after everything is entirely cooked, we add the chicken, the eggs, and the spring onions in, and maybe a little bit more salt to finish off the dish. So first we're gonna saute all these vegetables. All right, so our vegetables are cooked through. Now we wanna add the rice. And with that rice, we wanna add a lot more butter to make sure there's plenty of fat to caramelize it. I'm just gonna take out the garlic. Now when you smell that rice get nice and toasty, we wanna add our coconut aminos. So this is sweet, it's salty, just like soy sauce, but what they'll also add is some oyster sauce typically in fried rice. So you could do that, but they're typically full of sugar and so many preservatives. So now we're gonna turn off the heat, add in the chicken, the spring onions, and the scrambled eggs. Put our toasty brown butter on top. And now that our chicken fried rice is half butter, we're almost finished. Now, if you wanna add more protein to your family member's diet, you know, that's where you could add twice as much chicken, twice as much egg, it's up to you. There we have it, guys. Number one, chicken fried rice. I'm sure my sister will be happy because she's gonna have chicken fried rice for dinner for like a week straight. Uh, so you could do this all in one pan instead of doing the egg separately, the chicken separately. You don't really have to make the brown butter. So this could be a lot quicker, a lot easier. You know, it took me over an hour to make this, but you could probably 
scrunch it down to 10 minutes if you cut some corners. Get a little bit of everything on the spoon. Now for me, the spring onion really makes this dish. This is so delicious, guys. Really nostalgic. And if you're ever missing any Chinese food or really any dish in general from your past, just recreate it with high quality ingredients. It's probably gonna taste better. It's gonna be healthy for you. And you and anyone who you share this with is absolutely going to love it. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube unsubscribes you next week and check that notification bell so that they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, if you can go to frank stefanocom you can sign up for the newsletter. And if you'd like to support me through all of my various businesses. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.